everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. And I'm Paisley. Paisley's here with me today. And we are gonna show you four different ways to wrap a headscarf. Especially Long if you ones. have locks or braids in. Paisley has box braids. box braids right now, which we did during quarantine, right Pace? Yep, and we're using these long ones. And we've been experimenting and learning and practicing different ways to tie a headscarf, so we thought we would share a few of them with you. Paisley is going to showcase her first official tutorials where yep. she shows you a couple of them by herself I'm today. gonna do two and mommy's gonna do yeah. two. If you guys haven't already subscribed to our channel, you can be sure to do that by clicking the button right there and you can ring the bell too. You gonna yep. tell them? Ring the bell? Ring the bell. That's right, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing I learned was that you need to have a silk or satin headscarf. So this one's we satin, have a variety this one's silk, silk. right here we're gonna be working with today. I can tell the difference, satin and then silk. So you can see it's just like kind of a long <laughs> scarf. <clears throat> Where'd she go? She's gone. She's back. <laughs> She's gone. She's back. So I'm just gonna start by folding this edge on this side of mine like this. And I am going to place this right on her forehead. I am going to hold Are it. Are you gonna hold it for me? So it doesn't move. Okay, then I'm gonna take the two edges and I'm gonna make sure they're about the same length. We want them pretty even. Take it around to the back of her hair. And I'm gonna tie like I tie a shoelace. Just a nice little knot right here at the bottom of her head. Then I'm just going to take one side and I'm gonna start wrapping. And I'm trying to keep, while I'm wrapping, not like the, the good side of the fabric showing the whole time. So if I have to stop and twist it, that's fine. And I just tuck that in. Then I'm gonna take this in and wrap it again. Mm, I'm probably gonna have to grab a mirror. And wrap and tuck. And when you're all done, you have a nice little knot in the back. Mm -hmm. So do a spin so they can see. Finish style number one. One. So I am going to do the top button. Okay. We already have it folded so it's easier for me to start. What I'm going to do is this, where I want it not over my eyes so um, my eyes don't start to get covered but I want it right like there. And if, see how that's uneven, I am going to untie it and make it even. Good like job. This. And Good tip, pro tip, this. keep the ends even. Okay, there we go. There's that. And now I can, now it keeps all my hair in one place. Good job. And see this end, I'm probably just have to really that's tuck good. it in. And what I'm going to do, this is a little off even, but that's okay. Really, you don't want it like one side too short. That's a problem. What are you doing right here? Twist. You're twisting them together? Twisty, 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 twisty. And I like to try to keep the right side of the fabric showing. Oops. Okay, untwist and put that the right side. There you go. Okay, that should go like that. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Now you want to twist the bun the opposite direction. Like this. Yep. Good job. And what I am going to do is pull it all the way around and tuck it. Tuck it in. And there's the top of them. Good job. Good job, Pace. Let me see from the front. It looks so good. And now I'm gonna spin around for you. Okay. Woo! I am doing number three, the double twist turban. Okay. I am going to take this, and instead of the knot in front, it's going to be in the back. Okay. That's a tip. So either you go watch the video, which we might put in the link, or you just use a The video where you learned this? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. Is this even in the back? Uh, it's pretty close, here. Let go. There you go. That's even. There we go. The knot goes in the back. Okay. I finished tying it. Okay. And this is what it looks like with the knot in the back. Then we are going to take, then you take both of these. The sides? Yep. Okay, good. 
and I'm going to twist this one. Good and job. And have mom hold this. Okay, I got so it. So I can twist the other one. Okay. Really quick. And what we're going to do is we are going to got em. take them. I'm going to put this one where it belongs and this one untwisted, but we'll twist it back up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to tuck them in the other one. So see? And I'm gonna adjust it a tiny bit and that one go. a little bit. This one needs to be tucked in a lot. There we go. Good job, Hayes. Excellent. Here's the spin. Good job. Okay, for the fourth and final, we are doing just the, the double double knot twist. I turn and twist. Whoa! Edit. I don't even think it's. I don't think that's his name, but it's um, double knots. So okay. It's gonna be We're gonna start by just pulling her hair all up. Yeah. Let's go under like this. This could be useful. Okay. I got it. Let go. And I'm just gonna pull all the braids to the front. Okay. Put your head up for me. I'm just using an elastic to pull it up like that and keep it on her head and then just sort of lay it flat. And you'll see it doesn't really have to be pretty because we're gonna wrap it all up. So next I'm gonna take the scarf and put it at the nape of her neck. And I'll hold it. And we're gonna use this to kind of position and form a nice little shape on the top of her head. So once I have it shaped like this, I'm gonna take these sides and just cross them right here in front. And again, I'm trying to make sure the fabric lays really pretty. And we're gonna take... I'm pretty. Yes, you are. This one around. Hang on to the side one for me for a second. Okay. This one? Nope. Yep, thank you. Bring it forward. I'm gonna tuck it in. Got it? Mm-hmm. And then I'm gonna take this one and wrap it it around and I'm just keeping the fabric laying really pretty also going to take that one this is fun to do even with either a parent or not if you practice a lot you can get these really good and it can be really pretty yep. okay guys let's do a final spin on this last one you can see how cute it looks on her she loves it which ones were your favorite pace um, it goes the third, okay. second, okay. fourth, and then first. So pretty much the ones you did were your favorites. Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys loved watching what we've been learning and practicing while we're on a don't social isolation. Just, don't forget to subscribe. And click the bell. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, you can click over there to find them. And we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.